I'll be presenting today's Radiopedia.org case in radiology, pneumomediastinum due to Macklin effect. Case courtesy is demonstrated here, and the case link is in the description below. Presentation, we have a 40-year-old male with a past medical history significant for HIV who presents with shortness of breath. Taking a look at the chest x-ray, we note that there's a pneumomediastinum. There's air on the left along the descending aorta and along the left heart border. This air tracks upwards and towards the neck. Taking a look at the contrast swallow study, we note that there's no extravasation of the contrast from the esophagus. Taking a look at the CT of the chest with contrast, we note that there's diffuse bilateral ground glass opacities and scattered cysts compatible with PJP pneumonia. There's also bilateral lower lobe pulmonary emboli and bilateral lower lobe consolidations, which may represent hemorrhage or infarct. There's also pulmonary interstitial emphysema within the left upper lobe tracking back to the mediastinum, which likely accounts for the pneumomediastinum. There's no tracheobronchial tree injury and no pneumothorax. The Macklin effect relates to a three-step pathophysiologic process, blunt traumatic alveolar rupture, air dissection along the bronchovascular sheaths, and spreading of this blunt pulmonary interstitial emphysema into the mediastinum. Although esophageal tracheobronchial tree injury must be considered in patients who present with pneumomediastinum, the etiology is often an overdistended alveolus that ruptures, with air tracking back to the mediastinum along the bronchovascular bundles, uh, essentially the Macklin effect. Pneumothorax often accompanies pneumomediastinum. Additional overdistended subpleural alveoli may rupture into the pleural space.